Hi there. Do you have a Monica closet like in the show Friends? You know, the one that sends you diving through the air in slow motion, shouting, no. Anytime someone looks like they're about to open the door, I may have a couple of these Monica closets and I'm making one over in this video today. So if you have a closet in your home that is not living up to its storage potential, then keep watching. In this video, I will show how I quadrupled my storage space, even to the point that I actually have extra space now. At the end of the video, I'll break down my five and a half steps for organizing and maximizing storage in a small space. Let's get started. Prepare yourself for the scary before shots. This space got no love or respect because, frankly, it didn't respect itself. It was just a mechanical closet, so nobody took the time to put things away properly in here. Plus, there was no place to put things away properly. Even with all its weird obstacles to work around, I'll quadruple the storage space in this closet and make it look good enough to demand a little respect. This closet holds our water heater, a utility sink we use for cleaning paintbrushes, a water softener, and a water filtration system. There are wires and pipes everywhere, and it's never going to be a beautiful space, but with more shelves and storage solutions, it can certainly function much better. My plan is to store all my cleaning supplies in this space, vacuum, dustbuster, mops, bottles of cleaning sprays, etc. I'll also need to store the dog food container, gardening tools, and some bulk items from Costco. I also have a few cleaning items that need to be charged when not in use, so I'll need a convenient place for that as well. This space is about three and a half feet by five feet and currently only has one shelf. The first thing I will do is clear out everything I can and clean all the surfaces, including the yucky utility sink. Next, I'll add as many shelves as I can. To build the shelves, I'm using 1x4s along three sides to support the shelf that will be nailed to the top side. For the shelves, I'm using closet shelf boards from Home Depot. They come primed and with a rounded front edge. They were the cheapest option, and since this is a storage slash mechanical closet, they will do just fine. If this was a more highly visible space, I'd use plywood with 1x2 trim across the front edge instead. I also added a couple of corbels or brackets in places where I couldn't support the shelf on three sides, like next to the water heater. I have some items I'd like to hang in here, so I'm using a board with shaker pegs in a couple of areas for those items. To attach the shaker pegs, I used a spade drill bit to drill a hole the size of the peg and then use wood glue to secure them. Ah, oh, clean slate. Isn't it lovely? So now everything's been clocked and painted, and now we can get started putting the things back in. The first thing I'm going to do is put the vacuums right here underneath this shelf. They fit perfectly because I measured before I put that shelf up. And the charging battery station is right above. One of those batteries goes into the cordless vacuum below. And here is the after. Make labels for each bin so that things get put away where they belong and not just in any old place by me and my family members. So now everything has a home and a labeled spot where it belongs. If it doesn't have a label, it doesn't go in this closet. You can see on the right, I have some things hanging. Some of these things are long. Some of them just I need easy access to. And so the hanging on the shaker pegs was a great solution. This is how I organized mine, but whatever um, items that you have, just group them into categories and that's what goes on your labels. I love these boxes because they're easy to clean and wipe down, rinse out, whatever I need to do. And up above, I've got some gray baskets that are a little bit larger for larger items and um, items that I use less. The 
got the vacuums, the charging station, the tools, mops, dust buster. There's a bin of dog food right below the dust buster, even some gardening tools tucked in underneath the sink, and a step stool, which is very important for getting items back into the place where they belong. Because if you can't reach it, you're probably not going to put it where it belongs. At least that's me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you inspiration and ideas to go and organize and make more storage in your small spaces. If you love this video, please like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time.